What exactly is consumer surplus? Suppose I want a computer, because it gives me a happiness of seven hundred dollars. I go to the market and realize I can buy it at just five hundred dollars. Whoa, two hundred dollars of net happiness. This is my consumer surplus. On the demand curve, though everyone pays the same price at five hundred dollars, different consumers. Have different willingness to pay. I'm willing to get the computer at seven hundred dollars. It costs only five hundred dollars. My surplus is two hundred dollars. Then another guy is willing to pay six hundred dollars. His surplus is lower, at one hundred dollars. And of course, you have a guy who's only willing to pay five hundred dollars. His surplus is zero. What about a guy who's willing to pay four hundred dollars? The computer costs five hundred dollars. No transaction will take place. Add up all these surpluses. This is the total consumer surplus in the market. What about producer surplus? Suppose I produce computers. I want to sell each of these at three hundred dollars. I go to the market and realize that everyone else is selling these at five hundred dollars. Happily, I price my computer at five hundred dollars, which is cool. I'm expecting three hundred dollars, but I get five hundred dollars. That's two hundred dollars extra. On the supply curve, though everyone sells at an equilibrium price of five hundred dollars, different producers have different willingness to sell. I hope to sell my computer for at least three hundred dollars, sold it at five hundred dollars. My producer surplus is two hundred dollars. Another guy wants to sell his computer at four hundred dollars. His surplus will be lower at one hundred dollars. For a guy who wants to sell his computer at five hundred dollars, his producer surplus is zero. Add up all the producer surplus, and you get a triangle area. Add up these two triangles, we have the total surplus. Also known as the social welfare, all of us know that this is the market equilibrium point. Do you know this is also the allocatively efficient point? Check out the next video on allocative efficiency. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe.